I'm always intrigued by them and stealing of our intellectual property. Yeah. How does the CIA view something like that? It's a crime. Like it's a it's a crime and it's a massive problem, especially yeah. with CIA with uh, with China. So every country specializes in a different type of intelligence. So we specialize in stealing secrets, specifically political and government secrets. Uh, Mossad specializes in violence. They're the Israeli intelligence right. service. They specialize in liberating people who are kidnapped and killing people who deserve to die, right? Uh, China specializes in the theft of intellectual property, but they're not the best. Do you know who the best is? Nigeria? It's, no. Who? France. Wow. France is the best in the world at stealing intellectual property. So the number one threat to the United States for our economic secrets and our industrial secrets isn't even China. It's France. How do you know that? I mean, I know I trust you, but how, how do we know that? We know that because we, we watch our own systems. We watch our own corporations. Remember, FBI collects intelligence from inside the United States. They watch our Googles, our sales forces, our Amazons, our massive players, right, Netflix, and they see who's trying to penetrate those systems, who's trying to steal those secrets. They find spies inside the United States. Inside the United States right now, they estimate there's 10,000 spies. 10,000 wow. spies, undercover people living here stealing secrets. Wow. FBI covers all that, right? What secrets do you get from Netflix or YouTube or like, what, what secrets do you get? I mean, I get analytical secrets, like from the back engine of, but like, if you come here from, say, China, and you look into tapping the Netflix, like what information globally do you get from Netflix that's worth anything? Well, it may not be global information that you're looking for. It may be information about a specific country. So let's jump into this. And I'm going to geek out on this, dude, because no, this I'm is the you. stuff that I love. Right? Yeah, I'm with you. If you were able to steal the back-end metrics or the back-end uh, metadata for Netflix. And metadata is... is Who, what, when, yeah. Who, what, where, when, why, how, yeah. exactly, right? Now you know who's watching what shows at what times and what places. So if you see that one particular show is popular in Nashville that isn't popular in L.A., you can actually see what that show is about, and now you have a sense of what the people in Nashville care about and what the people in L.A. don't care about. So if you wanted to craft some sort of fake news story. You know the hot buttons, the hot, okay. Based on the city. Right. And that's a very basic example, right? You also figure out which neighborhoods have the most Netflix accounts, the most Netflix subscribers. And you can also cross-reference that against what zip codes make the most money. So if you were to find which zip codes have the most money, and then you find out that one of those wealthy zip codes also have a bunch of people on Netflix, now all of a sudden it becomes worth it to create a Trojan horse, a piece of code that can piggyback on Netflix and go into someone's laptop, someone's cell phone, someone's computer, someone's smart TV, and mine for bank data, account data. So, but that, okay, so how, how does that, how, how do they coexist? Like, how do you get information to fish on their laptop by just working for Netflix or something like like so how do how do they give me an example of getting the information some information like that like how does someone from China come in do they get a position at Netflix do they hack into their system like what is the roadmap so the most there's both things can happen so in the United States specifically we have a very big problem where foreign workers Foreign skilled employees can get a visa to come to the United States to work for these companies because they'll take a lower paycheck than what an American will take, right? But they're actually being planted here by a foreign intelligence service. Or when they come here and they get the job, then they reach out to their own home foreign intelligence service and say, hey, guess who I work for right now? Would you like me to do something extra for an extra paycheck, right? That's called an insider threat. When you have someone who's inside your organization who's corrupting your organization from inside, selling your secrets, embezzling money, lying about lying to your clients, that's an insider threat. But when we say secrets, that's what I'm trying to understand. Secrets like the Propriet metadata? Yeah, or? proprietary information. Okay. The algorithms that Netflix uses, like think about how fast Netflix loads. Yes. Have you ever wondered why does Netflix load so fast on your phone? But when you go to a blog page, yeah, it take takes all day. Yeah. yeah. Why is that? It's because they have proprietary algorithms that they have used, that they've created to make their load time 
shorter and faster because they don't want to lose you because it takes too long exactly. to get your video. But China interested in that. I mean, of course, not that, but I'm just wondering what can they get? I definitely like the example of zip codes and, and Netflix and how that, you know, corresponds. But I'm just wondering, you know, to come into th those 10,000 people are where doing what? If you were sent into America as a spy, like what would that look like? I mean, it could look a number of different ways, but the, the... Give me an extreme example. So let me... Okay, so a very extreme example is when you're embedded into a foreign country because you are a violent threat, right? That's called a sleeper cell. Wow. Oftentimes it happens with terrorists, but you also find illegals. Illegal is a term that the Russians use when they insert a sleeper illegal into the United States or into a foreign country. To do what? To be on, to be on soil, to be on on the soil, creating your own life, doing your own job, paying real taxes, waiting for the day that you get wow. one order wow. to do something extreme. And that's deep, right? That's called a sleeper. That's and that's also called an illegal. Wow. Not the illegal like we hear about in the newspapers. Not an illegal alien, right? But like the term that we use is that is an illegal agent. Right. So that's the, that is one very extreme example. Right. And that's an extreme scary example. There's yeah. also extremely not scary examples, right? And one of the most common uh, examples of a not scary uh, person who's sent to the United States is somebody who's sent here because they're, they're like a water or electricity engineer. Like they understand soil or they understand uh, how water purification works. And they're sent here to get their American citizenship and to get their green card and their job is to go to, you know, uh, Atlanta and become part of the Atlanta water uh, utility network. And they build a career there doing that job. And all they're supposed to do is send a report every week about how Atlanta purifies their water. And why would that person be needed? Because if China and America go to war, they want to, they want to poison the water. the water. Yeah. Right? Wow. A, so a, they, a report, I mean, one more thing, a ahead. report just went out this week. Right, and while you and I are recording this, it's May 27th, I wanna say it is. Yes. A report just went out this week where FBI made a formal announcement to the entire American public, letting them know that we've seen an increase in Chinese agents infiltrating American utility and power networks. What's going on, it's your boy Big Loon. Right now, if you looked at this clip and you enjoyed it, hit subscribe, watch the next video. We on the road to 100K subscribers on YouTube. If you're a fan, come to Patreon. We got exclusive videos there and also the show with just me alone. Salute to the supporters. Verify your customers and know who's your viewers. It's Up There Podcast. Let's get it. Yo, what up? This Big Loon. This is It's Up There Podcast.